have an heir to a musical throne with us tonight. Our guest is the son of none other than the legendary Robert Cool Bell. Yes, that cool, of Cool and the Gang. But DJ Prince Hakeem is his own man with his own music, and he's sharing it with us tonight. This song is called Royalty. Welcome, DJ Prince Hakeem. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Royalty. We are so happy to have you. I love it. So, I mean, it's really like interesting to come from like a family of musicians. So talk Mm. about like what that was like growing up. Yeah, it was amazing. You know, Um, know, all these bass guitars and instruments around your house and you're banging on and and you're playing them, you know, and you, you hear your dad and your uncle practicing and rehearsing, you know songs that you guys hear on the radio now right. and uh, you know it becomes part of who you are you know do right. you play instrument oh, a little play a little drums a little piano you know but, but i dj that's my instrument you know? oh, yeah nice yeah. how'd you get into djing how did that oh uh, just out? yeah me and my brother um, just, uh, you know like i said we come from a musical house and family so uh you know in um hip-hop you know we we, we were really attracted to hip-hop you know and DJ is really important in hip hop. Yeah. Shout out to Jam Master J and the Grandmaster D. Um, nice. Nice. Yeah, so so they made us want to DJ, you know. From that, from DJing, you want to make the beat. So we became producers nice. for a while, you know. Now right. it's back to DJing. So, so if there, okay. is there anything that we know that you produced? Do we know anything? Uh, not really. You know royalty. When they sit <laughs> out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Royalty, you yeah. better download yeah. that. A couple records out there, you know. I wasn't mm. a big producer, you know, yeah. but uh, a lot of my friends are Jermaine Dupree and uh-huh. um, uh, Vincent uh-huh. Herbert and Wyclef, Jerry Wonder. Mm-hmm. You know, those guys really hit the ball, you know. I, I bunt it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but nothing I really want to talk about. Um, I said my new record, Royalty, nice. you know. I well, produced you did, that. You did Mannequin Girl, too. I did. Though. Mannequin Girl is yeah, a good so one, yeah. Talk about you did. This is the only thing you did. You no, it's yourself. not the only thing I did, you know. You can. Uh, Google me and see what I worked on. But, Google him. But, like, you know, oh, I don't right. want to write home about you. Know? You're being so humble. Uh-uh. Uh, Let's talk about that. So you're talking about Mannequin Girl, which is yeah. about self-esteem yeah. for women, and then you're talking about royalty. So talk about how that yeah. ties in, because it seems like you have a theme. Yeah. To oh, yeah. Music. Wow. I didn't, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> He's like, this girl is smart. <laughs> she is. That's why we yeah, have it. Right. Yeah. Mannequin Girl was about a girl that's... Uh, hard on the outside and soft on the inside and we're just telling her look look you you the bomb you got potential you know um I, i'm trying to remember the lyrics uh <laughs> mannequin girl i see it in you you got so much potential you know so um soften you know because a mannequin you know they're stiff yeah soften up a little you got potential that the, the world got the best of her you know and she's like a depressed and you know, but she's like you know she's beautiful in her eyes so we're just trying to all the mannequin girls out there you know it's a lot of them soften up yeah, yeah. soften up and um <laughs> Listen to the song and call me. <laughs> and Google him. Yeah, Don't call Google him. Google, Google him. Yeah. Because he'd be like, who the? <laughs> yeah. Because we, you know, we want. I, I, I want to be a part of songs that are uplifting and uh, to women, to humans and women especially, you know, but to humans, uh, mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, that's what I like to be a part of, you know. But th- those are songs that really get me okay. excited. So you know? how did you come up with royalty? What's that about? So royalty was co-written by a singer-songwriter named Walt Anderson. Okay. He's featured on the song. Mm-hmm. Really right. talented kid. Yeah, he's good voice. Oh, I like yeah. the song a lot. Yeah. He's, yeah, thanks. He's great. So it's a song idea concept I had in my uh, notes. Uh, mm-hmm. I have these notes in my phone for about four years now. In royalty, I always wanted to write my first debut single because Mannequin Girl was a dance single, but this is my official debut single, Royalty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, claim it. Yeah, because people research it. Oh, yeah, that wasn't your first song. But yeah, this is my official <laughs> punk <laughs> single, you know. And uh, I wanted to... You're fun. You're fun. I wanted to title so I wanted to title so Royalty. Fun. It's very important. But why Royalty? What does that mean? You are Well, royal? the Prince I King, Royalty, you know. Um, yes, claim you know, your crown. And, 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 and uh, I think it's, it's a good time for that, you know... Uh, and royalty is about a girl you, you're trying to holler at. She's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just you know, saying. She's like, okay, I'm but you got to. Huh? I'm adoring Yeah, Maji. you're royal. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And it's saying, you know, you know, if you want to holler at me, you know, talk to me. You got to you gotta treat me like 
a queen, royalty, you know, and the gentleman Walt doesn't mind doing it. I don't mind doing it either. Walt doesn't mind doing that in the song, and that's what he writes about. Beautiful yeah. guy. Yeah, I like that. You're like, guy. spoil me, and you're like, yes, I will. I'm like, this song is good. I yeah. like this. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, the remix is coming out. Okay. Oh, but they're spoiling us, the, the yeah. men. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a joke. That's a joke. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad yeah. though. Yeah, right. I'm um, glad it's a no, joke. But it's I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's my father's like, what? What happened? Okay, sorry. <laughs> so you what? Know. know your dad is different. It's just different. Yeah, okay. yeah, I feel you. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, you know your dad is different. You just have a high expectation for men. Right. Because you're used to like an unconditional love. Like you can just right. kind of like do stuff. Mm. Right. And he's just like, just stop. And you're like, alright. Wow. Okay. It's okay. different. Feel you. Okay, yeah, he's like, I'm taking this in. But it's I'm different. Saying. It's just different. If you don't know it, if it's something that's foreign to you, you try to, like, contrive it in your head and you pretend, like, you make hey, Cliff Hawks to bull your dad. Like, stuff. Okay. You know, it's just right, different. Right, it's right, just right, different. Right. When you know your dad, it's different because he just lets you do whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can see how that could, mm -hmm. could be the case. Sure. Yeah. And he would want his daughter to be treated royally. Right, right, because he does Absolutely. it. Right. 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 Absolutely. Okay. She's so like, wait, okay. my father don't hit me. That. Like, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. That's true. I it's can see standard. that. It's just a standard that's I set can, in your life. I can see that. But even without that, you definitely need to be treated like royalty, whether you need yeah. to Yeah. Yeah. Or you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but she said this is like, this is basically your single, your debut. Absolutely. So they're yeah. going to be more songs yes. on the album. So what yes. kind of vibe can people kind of expect from uh, album? Uh, 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 funk. Nice. Funky, uh, you know, dance floor ready, mm -hmm. feel good, uplifting songs, you know, mm, nice. you know, that's going to tear up the dance floor, you know, fun, right. you know, that Bruno Mars type. Oh, type yes. you know okay. I mean? yes. okay. Yeah. So bring it all back, right? To just yeah, like, bring it true. back. Get the vibe up. Get the vibe up. You, you know? need to get right. the vibe up. It's true. That vibration yeah. is so like shaky yeah, now. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh. Okay. So you were talking about how you came up kind of with the inspiration for royalty. That you kind of just wanted to do that song. In terms of the other songs that you do, like what, where does your inspiration come from? Oh, uh, it depends, you know. Uh, I spend a lot of time in nature, you know, and. Um, you homeless? You know, yeah. uh, <laughs> 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 really asked this man if he was. No, I know he's not homeless. That's, that's funny. They, they, okay, sorry. Yeah, no, no. Uh, that's, that's the joke. That's the end of, of the joke. Of course. Okay. Of course. No, no, no. I keep him coming. He spiced it up, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I just I'm attracted. I'm attracted to nature, you know. And, and um, you just real easy going. I love that. Uh, you just got this real <laughs> chill vibe. It's yeah. like the best. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay, all right. <laughs> but uh, what was the question again? It was a question about what inspires you and. Yeah, it could be anything. Uh, you know, I can come, come up with some from the this sun. Uh, the this sun. Uh, meeting we have now. Yeah. I might write something. Have some ideas. <laughs> Yeah, no, you really. don't have him writing about weed and. <laughs> no, he's not. Mm. A beautiful black girl. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you've done a lot of things. You've done Bonnaroo. You DJed for Clinton Foundation. Toured the world with Cool and the Gang. And are there any experiences that kind of stand out to you where you're like, yo, that was, that was amazing. Bonnaroo was. Just insane. I did it two years in a row. Right. right. Shout out to Jonathan Azu who booked me there. Um, insane experience you know mm -hmm. you had a festival you know for like three days mm -hmm. way out a bunch of hippies and nice. you know all races and stuff and everyone's just in their zone you know and it goes on and they never sleep you know and mushrooms really and psychedelics all, all that stuff <laughs> sounds like you're high <laughs> I don't know what they are they have a good time i want to go you should go i want to go i want to go you should go you should really? go the most right. amazing bands the biggest bands in uh -huh. the industry. Nice. You know, and then I get to DJ at 2 a.m. They walk into it and they hear me, you know, you only can fit about a thousand, 300,000 people there probably. Wow. A thousand people comes into this tent and I just rock them, man. We're just <laughs> Wow. Uh, that was uh, did you see the footage? Some of the footage. I didn't no, see I'm going to see it. But you guys need to go check it out. Yeah. 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 Prince yeah, Hakeem, right? Bonnaroo. Yes. Check it out. Just Google it. It'll come up. Yeah, yeah. It's on my website. Uh, thank you so much. Thank and we'll be you. looking out for your music. DJ Prince Hakeem. Yeah, yeah.